trying to meet up with a girl that was underage. A Team 10 investigation. A local vigilante group credited with catching a Navy chief trying to meet up with a 14-year-old girl. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I am Wale Aliu. The video of that encounter has gone viral. Team 10 investigator Austin Grabish joins us now in studio. Um, Austin, I'm curious to know how the Navy has responded to this. Well, good evening, Wale and Kimberly. These internal Navy records I obtained through a Freedom of Information request called the Navy Navy Chief's conduct repugnant. They say he was trying to pursue an inappropriate relationship with an underage girl and told her not to tell anyone. Why are you meeting a 14 year old girl? Please. I'm telling you, please don't do this. Outside a Rancho San Diego movie theater is where this sailor's career ends. Please don't post this. Almost what? We know you're in the Navy, please. bro. It's not please. gonna help if you run from us, bro. Please, man, please don't do this to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my career. The people behind the camera are with Vans Against Predators, a local vigilante group. They captured a stunning confession during an ambush last July. I apologize. For what? I apologize for doing this. Doing what? What were you doing? I apologize for everything. What were you doing? Please. What were you doing here? Say I was, it. I was trying to meet up with a girl that was underage. The man speaking was a 41-year-old Navy chief on the USS Halsey. There go. Everyone's going to find out about this. Please I'm sorry to tell you. Man. Please. We expose child predators in San Diego, uh, uh, all right? Okay, Team I, 10 I, is you, not naming the chief or right? showing his face because he has not been charged with a crime. Documents obtained by Team 10 through a Freedom of Information request say the chief started an online relationship with a 14-year-old girl named Bree last May. But Bree was was actually a decoy account set up by Vans Against Predators. Discipline records obtained by Team 10 say the chief, who had over 18 years of service in the Navy, engaged in sexually suggestive language and told Bree to keep the chat secret from her mother. In one message, he said, Your lips are very beautiful. So are your eyes. He even asked, do you find me attractive, and sent a selfie in his Navy uniform. After months of talking, he texted Bree, send me your mom's schedule so we can coordinate a time and date to meet up. The two agreed to see Spider-Man. You knew it was wrong, but you kept doing it. But when he arrives, the chief is ambushed for almost 20 minutes by vigilantes armed with cameras. And they had a lot to record. The chief wouldn't stop talking. I didn't want to, I just wanted to meet her. Why don't you talk to people your own age, bro? I don't know. I don't know. And I apologize. During the ambush, he tries to defend himself. I wasn't I was going to do anything nefarious. I promise you. Repeatedly apologizes and then calls his mom. Mom, you there? Hey, hey. mom. I'm sorry. I, I met someone that I wasn't supposed Let to me meet. Put Followed by the group, he begs them not to post this video. Please, just like that. Please don't. You want to talk to her? I'll talk to her. Yeah, let's. We'll, we'll talk to her, bro. I, Mom, I, can you please tell these people to go away and leave me alone? Hey, bro, mommy's not going to save you, bro. And that. repeatedly Dude, admits his that. actions were I'm wrong. Gonna, I'm going to go to jail, and I'm going to lose my rank. But the chief because never I, went to jail. NCIS tells Team 10 it found insufficient evidence that a crime occurred. A spokesperson at Quantico said NCIS is dedicated to the prevention of child exploitation offenses, but we do not encourage or condone the conduct of child exploitation sting operations by private citizens. Such actions put participants and targets in danger and in cases such as this one often produce results that do not hold up to the legal scrutiny required to prosecute child exploitation offenders. Typically, these conversations with individuals who are caught with in a law enforcement scheme are very explicit in their language. Um, this particular case didn't have those elements of this grown man um, saying 
ex sexually explicit things to an underage person, or in this case, a decoy. Cody Harnish is a military defense attorney. He watched the ambush and reviewed the dozens of internal documents that Team 10 obtained. No grown man should be so lonely that they're going to hang out with a 14-year-old girl. That being said, that in itself, technically, by the black letter of the law, isn't criminal. Harnish says he's not surprised NCIS didn't file charges. For that to happen under military law, he says there has to be an actual victim, not an adult posing as a 14-year-old girl. And Harnish adds the messages he reviewed didn't meet the legal definition of indecent language. That's why ultimately when he was administratively separated from the Navy, they charged him with an attempt, not the actual Article 134 events. I'm begging you, dude. I'm begging you. Please don't post this. Shortly after video from the sting went viral online, he lost his senior leadership role on the ship and was assigned other duties. The commanding officer of the USS Halsey wrote, I do not have confidence in his ability to perform in the military after this incident. Prior to this investigation, his performance was overall at best subpar. Then, last October, the Navy kicked him out for good, ordering an other-than-honorable discharge, a move that cost him financially. He was almost there at the 20-year mark where he could have started pulling from retirement or put in for retirement. However, now he cannot. And the vigilantes you saw in my story didn't want to do an interview, but the man behind the group says he's caught dozens of adults trying to prey on underage kids in San Diego. The work that Vans Against Predators does is somewhat controversial, especially in law enforcement circles, because there are issues that come up when citizens take matters into their own hands. And this is really not something that police recommend. But as we saw in this case, the group sting ended up costing this sailor his job. I was unable to reach the now former chief for comment. Austin Gravish, Team 10.